Soda. Ah, yeah. Give me one. Oh, no, 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 no. Ben, no. I have just two. Ah. And you know I need it for my contraceptive, so no. Come on, I'll buy you. I'll buy you. I'll buy you. I'll buy you. I'll replace it. No, babe. Not happening. You know, don't be vexed and they buy a whole truckload of it, you know. Oh, gosh. Goddamn. Yes, come in. Ah. Good morning, how are you? What do you want? I want to ask what I should make for breakfast, ma. Um, oatmeal, scrambled eggs and bread. Okay, ma. Bring it to the room. Ah, yes, ma. No, maybe. So, here we go for another man. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> not right now. I don't want to. No. <laughs> How many units is in this estate? I'm 40. Wow, that's huge. Mm. Well, maybe we should go and visit her today now. We should. Mm -hmm. But then again, we can meet them at the better party. Oh, that party. Mm. Honestly, I wish I could just avoid going. <laughs> Me too. Mm -hmm. But. We're trying to keep our business associate closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Trust me, it's nice. Mmm. Doesn't go with eggs. Babe, it's amazing. It's not. Yes, it is. It's all right, though. Hey, try some of these. Come I on. knew you were going to do that. <laughs> with oat as well. Babe, it's a nice combo. You want that with bread as well? Mm -hmm. So, what, what are you saying? It's gorgeous. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty big. Mm. It looks big. Yeah, I think. Mr. and Miss Ibsen, <laughs> the most glamorous, glittering couple in you town. You always have ravaging words for us. Oh, come <laughs> on. So returning. You mean to Good tell to see me you. you don't know that your name resonates every nook and cranny of this town? No, it depends How on what you're saying. Of course, you know. Already <laughs> what you say. Great stuff. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Wow. Please, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, mm. wow, so what do I own this visit? By the way, I drove past your estate. That was last week. Okay. Looks ready to be. It will be. Almost. It will be. Oh. Mm. Any fixed prices? Yeah. <laughs> After I have a, a meeting, executive meeting with them, um, we'll, we'll be ready. But you'll be the first to know, though. Ah, uh, interesting. I'll be the first to know. Yeah. And I'll be the first to know about the discount. Well, discount. <laughs> don't, Seriously? Don't, I, I know you. I know you. You say it's time. Huh? Ah, come on. Hey, hey, come on, what? Don't say it. Say what? You know I don't charge you usually my medical bills. So now it's time for you. It's payback time, kind of, you know. My ah, kindness. Ah, you know, come on. The price is your price and my price. For my property, you like money Are too different. much. You like money too much. You like money too much. Of course, you should know better. Oh my gosh, you look ravishing, madam. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm trying. Burning money. Mm. Thank you. You look beautiful. 
Hey. Your wife looks stunning each time I see her. <laughs> well, you are doing a fantastic job with her. Ah, yeah, I'm burning money. I'm spending. I'm, oh, yeah, right. I'm spending the cash. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, on a quick note, quick one. Um, I'd like you all to meet someone. Okay, okay. sure. Yeah. It's not a problem, right? Okay. Please, please go on your fortune teller. He loves to help humanity, and it works. Great things await you tomorrow. You will get a call for a life-changing contract. Hmm. Very soon, there will be a baby. Why would he even assume I want a baby? Like, I, I don't get it. You're not saying anything. Bet I've told you to calm down. There's no such thing as fortune telling. They're fake. Well, you heard him tell Mrs. Otodala about the contract. My point exactly. Huh? Hey, calm down. Sleepy head. Mm -mm. Mm, go away. Come on, you gotta freshen up. We have to go and see the estate. Not now. Come on. Babe, Come on. stop. I'm gonna get dressed. Mm. And if you are going to wake up, okay? Why? Wake up. Mercy. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mercy. I came to ask what your mother will be having for breakfast. Um, coffee, scrambled eggs with bread. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, sir, big madam is back. When? She came back yesterday, sir. Okay. Where is she? She's at the dining. All right. Thank you. Huh? Okay, sir. Mom, hmm. you never told me you were coming. <laughs> mm. oh, how are you, darling? I am good. It's good to see you. <laughs> so, how was your flight? Oh, very well, thank you. Uh huh. You're dressed? Yes, I am going to the estate. Okay. Well, Shell demanded for some units. Furnished. Whoa. Mm -hmm. How many? 26. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> for, for how much? 115 million each. Good! <laughs> and we must be ready in six months. Mom? Yes. I got a friend 
who has a cleaning company. Can I call her and then give her the cleaning contract? Oh, sure. Let her come yes. see me at the office before noon. Today? Yes. We don't have plenty of time, okay. and you know how useful uh, Mom, is. I'm going to text her right now. <laughs> wow! Oh, yes. This is good news. Mm. I love this. Can't say that again. <laughs> She's going to be excited. Honey, my contraceptive is finished! Honey! Look who's here! Mom! Mom! Yeah. Uh, oh, hi! Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you, you were around. When, when did you come? Last night. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So, yeah. Oh. Claire? How are you? What? Yeah. My contraceptive is... Go on, go on. I can hear you. Oh, okay. I, 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 I will go back to them. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Another company is demanding for 15 units. <laughs> it's magic. You don't know what's about. You don't know what's happening, right? Look, look, look. <laughs> we have to do everything to get it ready. Certainly. Okay. I'm on it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm coming. I, I'll just freshen up. Oh, okay. I'll go freshen up. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 why is your wife still using contraceptive? Mom, we're not ready now. Come on, we've gone over this before. It's been six years of a marriage and you're not ready to have kids? And we're still figuring out some few things. Quit lying to yourself about not wanting children. Chloe, you need an heir. If I didn't have you, what would have become of me now? Probably a wrecked, lonely soul. Think of it. This family has the wealth to sustain a village for years. Um, I hear you, I hear you, and I will, okay? Um, I have the cleaning company. They said it will be there soon. Mm. So she's coming. Um, honey! Honey! Come on! We gotta run! Mm. I enjoy your car. Hmm. Babe, hmm? what do you think about this property? Looks good. How much is it? <sighs> I'm trying to get the information. Are you showing it to me? That's yes, because it's in a preferred area. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Hmm. Thank you. Is there a problem? Mm. It's just that I want to travel at the end of the month. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, when are you coming back? Yeah, I mean, is it about pay? I mean, you want an increment? No, sir. I am not coming back. What? You just started working here like two months ago why the change of heart is there a problem is there about the pay i mean it's about increment i am getting married ah oh okay oh. congratulations thank you well that's that's good news congratulations yeah. just let us know when you're ready to leave thank you sir mm. huh. wow I mean, she's a nice girl, but I'm happy for her. It's a good thing. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Now, why you call me this now? So, who will you cook for us now? No, be person they cook for now before me, I carry home. I want that. Eh? Maybe poison when that one they cook uh, and send her food. 
before Madame comes back. Eh, make Madame cook now. Say what now? Make Madame cook. Masi, come on there. I say you come here. Make you cook. I don't think for this house for the past six years. I never see that one boy. Oh, 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 oh. Make Madame no hear you. Oh, yeah, no hear. Oh, no deal, no deal. If you do that, guy, make you cook. If you cook, I don't be match up. Okay. I beg your defense. I won't cry. Hey, you've been vomiting all day. Are you sure you're okay? Do you want to go to the doctor? I'll be fine. She said the doctor, you know. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. No, I'm sorry. Mm. You all packed? Yes, sir. Right, um, I sent 200,000 to you. Okay? Sir? Thank you very much, sir. It's okay, it's okay, get up. God, we've gone to your heart, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank get up, you, it's okay. Yeah. And if you need anything, our door is open, okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, then God bless you. Yeah, good. Babes? When was the last time you saw your mates? It's, it's two days late. Crying because you're going to miss me or my food. I'm not gonna lie. And the reason the food. No worry. I go feed you where before I go. Say what now? I go feed you before I go. No worry. My cry one more time. He <laughs> don't do a thing. <laughs> um, what was that? Good morning. Um, open the gate. Pregnancy test was negative. Negative? Yep. Did you did you check for Of course I did, yeah. Um, she she had fever and she missed her her men. How late is, is it? Two two days? Two days. Well it's normal. You should know that um for them to have fever when the cycle is oncoming, so it's nothing to be perturbed about. I would recommend um, IVF if you guys are that desperate. No, we're not. 
Yeah. <laughs> we know. Mm. We're fine. Interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Take care. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. All right. All right. All right. Ladi, ladi. Oh, yeah. Bah, take. Mm. So you miss it? You miss it? You go through through. Hi! No worry. I will come and visit you. One of these days. Hmm? Masi. Chai! I just caught you now. Oh, yeah. No to baby. No cry again, no. Oh? I nah, may take care. <laughs> Lad, I really miss Jerry. Oh, well, I go chop the last supper. Daddy, what is this? Daddy, who dropped this baby here? Oh God, I don't know now. Hey, what kind of picking you? You don't say. Hi, what kind of picking? I they sleep. I they hear something they cry for my dream. I see this ego being wish. I don't know what's not really picking you. Hi. Huh? Women. You feel like not picking you? Re oh, really? For the six years he has been staying with you, you have no cause to suspect your foul play. No, he's been a good worker, quite diligent at his duties. Do you have any cause to suspect anyone? How many of your friends will visit you here? Ah. Ah. If my Oga and Madame no get friends, Nami won't get friends. Did you ever leave your post even for one minute? Say so what? Did you ever leave your post even for one minute? Ha. Ah. Okay, I never leave my post. Though. In fact, that the first time while they sleep on duty with this, and I never work. Hmm. Do you have any cause to suspect anyone? Okay, me I don't know. I just did my own. They sleep, JJ. Eh? For my dream, I did hear one, one. I did hear cry. I feel snap wind show. I know you must snap picking. Who gave you the food to eat? Say what? Who gave you the food to eat? Marcy now. Marcy is our cook. She just left today. Can you call her? She doesn't have a phone number and besides I don't I don't have a number to call her on. And she works for you? How did you employ her? I put up a notice outside. You have been practically living with a stranger. The next time you need a domestic help, you can contact the agent who can hold her responsible if anything happens. Yeah. Mr. Gibson. Yeah. We have gotten all the information we needed. Okay. I assure you we will investigate more in the case. The baby has to stay with you. Stay with me? I mean, if we wanted a child, we will have, have us, we will bear our child. Why would we want a child? We can't keep this child. I am not saying you should keep him forever. Because of the current strike, the child's welfare doesn't have any staff on seats to attend to the situation. But they promise to send over someone here tomorrow. A whole day. Yeah, tomorrow. Don't worry. They'll definitely send us stuff. Oh. Thank you, sir, for your patience. Thank okay. you. Um. Um. 
Baby. Baby, take. How can you possibly accept to keep a child without considering my opinion? What am I supposed to be the child for a whole day? A whole day, Gary! How are you putting everything on me? I mean, you were here, you didn't say anything. Oh, I didn't say anything because I expected you, the man, to know what to do. Well, the police said they would send the body tomorrow. You know, this is just... I just don't get it. Like, why couldn't you just tell them to keep the baby until they have a child welfare? I don't what? understand this. That's my wife. Oh my God. Somebody left the baby in front of my house. Yes, a baby in the compound. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is you know better. Yes, Can I you know. Perceive Mama, call you back. You perceive it? Huh? It smells like poo. Exactly. Baby has pooed. So what should we do? Who, who are you asking? What should you do? You're a woman, you know what to do. I mean, what a baby well, mess up. I don't, okay? And, and, and you, you don't put this on me because I, 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 it wasn't my idea to, to, to give this baby. Oh, and it was my idea? It was my, it's my responsibility for someone to leave a baby from the house in a serious way. Okay, just stop. All right? Maybe you need to channel this anger on that you are not me. The baby pooed. So what now? Are you deaf? I said the baby pooed. Hmm. This boy picking poo. It's me like adult poo. My dad is picking never chop. You know if he poo. You know if he poo. Hmm. Very funny. Clean it. So what now? Are you clean it? Huh. My dad never do this kind of thing before. And as they grew up, they tell me saying now nah, woman they take care of picking. You're very stupid. Sorry, ma. Very, very stupid. Sorry, ma. Hello. Yeah, mom. The baby pooed. And she doesn't know what to do. Yeah, okay. Um, she said you should clean the baby up. Huh? Yeah, he said she cleaned the baby up. What? Who? You! How am I supposed to know? I don't even have the utensil. What am I supposed to do? Why? Okay, you need to stop yelling at me! I'm not yelling, I'm just saying that you... I baby pamphlet. Yeah. Daddy, go, just, just take, 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 take. Go, go and sort this I'll out. I'll come back, oh. Uh -huh. Bye bye, baby. Get out! <laughs> How could a baby... I'm not Mom. dealing with this. I'm not. So... I'm not dealing with it either. Good afternoon and welcome to Talk Space, where there is no discrimination of any kind and no judgments at all. Whatsoever you say here remains our biggest secret. Okay. So you're welcome. Thank you. Have you been to therapy before? No, this is my first time. Oh. So um, why don't you tell me what the problem is and how you feel about it? Okay. I'm married. My husband is outside, like abroad. Oh. Yeah. So I said to myself, instead of jumping around, I decided to choose someone I'll be rubbing body with. Do no judgment, please. Oh, no judgment at all. Okay. All right. So I met this guy. At first, I didn't fancy him. But when he told me he was married, I decided to give it a try. I did so because we both to be careful and we have something to protect. Okay. But recently, I found out that he's cheating on me with a single lady. I can't stoop so low to be with a man that cheats. Oh, okay. 
We've been together for three years. He even drives the car my husband bought for me. And he uses it to carry that lady. Please. How can I break up with him without stirring up any quarrel? He took my husband's number from my phone and he might use it to blackmail me. I can't stand the man that cheats. A cheat has been cheated on. Okay. The best advice I can give to you is talk to your husband, come clean to your husband and ask him to forgive you. Because if he finds out, you're on your own. This therapy session is over. You're awake. Obviously. Okay. Here. And... Here. Here. Oh. Yeah. That's a little big, though. That's big. Well, you could try it though, I mean, uh, better than nothing. Okay, can you just sit down and... He can't sit. Oh, oh, oh. He's a baby! Oh, oh, okay. So, how are you? You turn him around or something. Yeah. You turn him around when you're hey, trying to change his diaper. Oh, my. Hey, look at what you're doing. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Hey, little fella. But... <sighs> Yeah, you can laugh now, can't you? <clears throat> Take it off now. I'm trying. Just saying. Sorry. Hello, little fella, for the big shit. She is a mess, yes, I admit, I am a mess. Why won't this baby just stop crying? I'm tired. I can't even sleep. All this is all that is fault. And he's in his room. Sleeping. Yes, I admit I am a mess That makes two of us Like two peas in a pot We feed perfectly Okay, I need to go in there And make sure, hey, hey and make sure the baby stops crying. And I want you to stay there as well. Okay? Next time you you watch your post and not believe. I know it. This time I can't turn to baby gets mad. Sorry, baby wash man. In this house. Hey, where are you? Ready? 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 Hello? Check who's at the gates.
Abi Yabo from uh, ah, Child ah, yeah, Welfare. Ah, yeah. ah. Good day, sir. Good day. Mm. You're from Child Welfare? Eh, and I'm me. We've been expecting you. Come. Ah, Oga, no vex. No vex. Traffic be there like this. I don't walk, I walk, I trek so far. I even climb bike, reach one junction like that, where they there. Traffic see there. I can't get down. Come they trek again, come with you. They can't suffer where I don't suffer for this government work. Where they know they pay us well. Eh? Okay, that's fine. The child is inside. Eh. All right, yeah, please come. Mm. Okay. Come through. Ah, are they picking bees? Yes. Yeah. Ha! Ah, 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 ah. They picking fine, sir. Yeah. Ah, yes, ah. Baby. Put this more wicked, though. Huh? How mama go get mine, eh? The way this guy fine begin. Eh? <laughs> he won't stop coming. I, I haven't even slept. Yeah, we haven't slept. Hi. <coughs> Madam, huh? You don't bother speaking. N no, we're waiting for you. Ah! Ah! People we get, sir. Hi! How you go keep the kids since yesterday to now? You know, Bafa? You won't make it smell. Eh? How you go sleep? How you go sleep, eh? No peace for the wicked, though. Uh ah. -uh. In fact, oh yeah. Take your picking. Me, eh? I don't they go. Uh -uh. If you like, Bafa. Hmm? If you like, hmm? No Bafa. Mm. Where, where are you going to? The police said you're going to come and take the kid. Eh? Well, is the pay me, Abby? Or you won't make her carry this picking. Go join for the two while I get for house. Oh God, beg I don't they go. Give me transport, make I they go. Oh God, give me transport. Now I use my last money. They call this place. Are you gonna take the kid? I don't they carry the picking, go anywhere. Oh God, give me transport now. Seriously? You don't want to give me transport? Oh. No one. She is a mess. Yes. I admit I am a mess That makes two of us Like two peas in a pot We fit perfectly Through all the imperfections He's sleeping now Oh, thank God oh, Such a piece of child Hmm. The police are afraid to take my call. They practically tricked you to give me that child. How can that even happen? Even if we wanted to keep the child, due process has to be followed. Uh, please. Uh, go make food for him. I got some um, milk on my way back home. Me? Yes, please. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Mm. I told my secretary to reschedule my flight for tomorrow. What about your meeting with the carpet company? Oh, I rescheduled my meeting. Huh. Mom, how can you advise me to keep a child that's not mine? If we wanted a child, we would have one of ours. Okay. Have I ever gone against any of your personal decisions? No. I understand your wife might not want to go through pregnancy, childbirth, and, or any of those. But you need to understand that you need an heir. Mom, how does that even sound to you? Me taking someone else's child as my heir? Your father never knew he was adopted, even years after he married me. What? Um, he never meant anything. His king's men never treated him any different. He enjoyed equal right. Yeah. Um, I, I, I need help. I, I don't know what temperature, cold water, it's okay. hot it's water. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I will need you to get me some clean clothes for him. We, we don't have. No, you two, you have to go shopping for him today. She is a mess, yes, I admit, 
I am a mess that makes two of us like two peas in a pod. Are you okay? Yeah. What do you ask? You have a set of words. I was thinking maybe we should keep this child. What? Are you kidding? I don't understand. Where's that coming from? I didn't try to understand. You understand me. what? I already told you I am not ready to have a child and nothing will change my mind. But I'm not asking you to have a baby. I'm asking let's keep this one. What? Keep another man's child? I'm not ready to nurse another man's child. We don't know his mother. Do you understand this? Listen, please just understand, okay? Even if you want 20 housekeepers, I will get them for you. It's not about that. Okay, please help me understand, really. What is so special about this child that you have to keep this one? I just want to feel what fatherhood feels like. Are you with another man's child? Take me home and vanish them. I am a mess. That makes two of us Like two peas in a pot We feed perfectly Through all the imperfections Best believe I'll be right here Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand all that I know is I'm in love with you and you are right for me. Nobody knows all I love about you. Nobody would understand why. All that I know is I'm in love with you and you are right for me. See you a perfect, perfect for me. All right. I'm trying to figure this thing out. There's gas coming out when I turn it on, but it's not sparking up. How do I turn it on? Sir? Do you know how to put on the gas, cook the gas? How, oh, God? Oh, God, all my life. I demand what can they do? I don't need to ask a baby. Oh, Daddy, that's what I ask you. Do you know how to turn it on or not? Oh, God, I'm sensing with the talk here now. Eh? Oh, God, see, this is not in my department, too. This one, a high technology. My department has stove and matches. No thanks. She is a mess Yes, I admit I am a mess That makes two of us Like two peas in a pot We feed perfectly Through all the imperfections Best believe I'll be right here Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand All that I know is I'm in love with you And you are right for me Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand why all that I know is I'm in love with you and you are right for me. See you a perfect, perfect for me. I see through your imperfections, uh, you are right for me.
Who be that? Good afternoon. What you define? Um, sorry, is this Mr. Gary Gibson's house? I'm actually a cook, so I was sent to Mr. Gary Gibson for a job. Say so what now? I said I'm actually a cook. I was sent to Mr. Gary Gibson for a job. Which is how we cook? I can cook everything, trust me. You say we cook banga soup? Mm-hmm. You say we cook egusi soup? Yes. White soup and afang soup? I can cook everything. Go there. Use the main door. I'll guard the inside. Okay, thank you. Things say cooking now for face and fine shape. We go know. What you cook now, we go know. So how long have you been a cook for? Um, I started cooking at the age of eight, but I studied food and nutrition in school. I can cook both continental and inside continental dishes so well. Oh. I've got some three people. A cook, an onion, a cleaner. Where are the others? Uh, I was only told to come in as a cook. But if you do not mind, I can handle the tree job so well. You can? Yes, I can. Okay. You can start now? Yes, I can. Uh, I mean, mm. Let me show you. Let me show you. Mm. You come. Baby. Mm -hmm. right, come. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be your room. Um, and we'll be upstairs if you need anything, just come upstairs, okay? Okay, sir. Um, Are you sure you can do this job? Of course I can. Can I just start at this place? Yeah. Okay. I'll be upstairs, like I said, okay? Okay, sir. All right, then. Okay, um, sorry about the mess. Um, we've been preoccupied with the baby. Uh, it's okay, sir. Mm. So write a list of what you need, food items, and what you need for the kitchen, okay? Okay, sir. Alright. Okay, um... She is a mess Yes, I admit I am a mess that makes two of us like two peas in a pot. We feed perfectly through all the imperfections. Best believe I'll be right here. Nobody knows all I love. Oh, babe. Uh -huh. I think we need to change these cabinets. On all 40 units? Not everything, just the ones that are off-white. Baby, we spent, we spent so much money now. We just it leave needs, it the way it is. No, it, it needs to be perfect and uniformed. You, 
uniform, who cares? We're gonna sell some and rent them out. It doesn't matter. Baby it matters. It does. Oh, it's gonna cost more. You don't. Okay. Oh. Alright. How's the baby? Thank you. Okay. Um, he's doing so fine. I've baited and fed him. He's sleeping right now. That's good. Thank you. That's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, looks good. Mmm, this is really delicious. I can accomplish all this, you know. Accomplish what? You know, cook, go to the market, take care of the kid, all in a short frame of time. Wow. She's only doing her job. Mmm. You know what I think? I think she's extraordinary. This is really good. Baby, aren't you eating anymore? Just lost my appetite. Why? Put that nicer. Um, I heard the baby crying. Is everything okay? Oh yes, he's actually very fine now. In fact, I just finished feeding him. Okay, just came to check on him. Okay. All right. Good night, sir. Baby, please now. It's not good. You've been starving me since now. The worst part is that you're ignoring me. Please stop this. Like you don't know I'm upset with you. What did I do? What did you do? Was it not just yesterday you were raining praises on this maid? You just won't stop. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Okay, baby, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to hurt you. But you I did. I will never do it again, I promise. Okay? Please. Promise. I promise. Can we get jiggy with it? Yeah, come in. If you do this again, I'm going to go Ah, sorry, Oga. Hey. Good morning, Oga. Good morning. Good morning, dear. madam. Um, just leave it the table, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, then, bye. Was that my pajamas? Yes, it was your old one. I gave it to her that she could wear it. You don't wear it anymore, so I thought if she wears it would be baby. Please don't go. Baby, please now. Baby, what about me? We just made up. Hi. Me and my mouth, my eyes. <laughs> I mean, the first time was terrible. He just cried all night. Nobody could sleep. Oh my God. And then the welfare officer came the next day with her own bag of trouble. I mean, she cursed us out for not showering the babe or oh. feeding the babe. But honestly, that's so terrible. Mm -hmm, because babies do not really need so much. If you give them what they want, trust me. They're good to go. Well, we didn't know that at that time. I mean, how could we know? But your wife should have some little experience as a woman. Well, we didn't plan to have children, so what was the point? Wow. I'm actually so surprised you're in this. In Africa, like, it's, it's very unusual. Well, thank God you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. Okay. <laughs> 
It's all good. It's so well spoken, though. Oh, thank you very much, Sam. Good morning, Ada. Oh, good morning, sir. How was your night? My night was fine. Okay, and the baby? The baby is doing great. That's good. He's actually sleeping. Okay, that's good. So what are we having for breakfast? Um, scrambled egg with oatmeal and bread. Sounds tasty. Yeah. Can you teach me how to make that? Sure, I can. But so I will just allow you to do it yourself. Then I can just guide you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you a perfect, perfect for me. I see through your imperfections. Uh, you are right for me, baby. Oh, 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 yes, you are right for me. You know, I was wondering, how do you find time to do all the chores and then still have time for yourself and the baby. It's actually a feminine DNA. You know, I actually learned how to multitask from small, so I'm kind of like used to it already. Wow. It's not hard. Mm. You know, I wonder what it would be like having kids, you know, running around. Trust me, kids are a wonderful experience. So I just think you should try it. You'll love them, believe me. Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. Serious. Mm -hmm. Ada taught me. She seems to be teaching you a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, she is extraordinary, you know. I'm so sorry. All the welfare officer. I want us to adopt a kid. Why are you telling me? You seem to clearly have it all figured out and your mind made up. So why the hell are you telling me? Good afternoon and welcome to Talk Space, where there is no discrimination of any kind and no judgments at all. Whatsoever you say here remains our deepest secret, so you're welcome. Thank you. So, have you been to therapy before? Not at all. This is actually my first time. Oh. And I need your help. Okay, I'm here to listen. I'm not proud of what I did. My boyfriend and I were making out, and he passed out. Oh, well, the right thing is to take him to the hospital. Did you take him to the hospital? I did. I okay. took him to the hospital. Okay. But something happened. What? The unfortunate thing is, my husband is a doctor, and he's the one attending to him. And something else. He's in coma. So I don't know what to do. Oh no. Mm -hmm. It's 
Ah, ah. Tipiki don't be pass as I see him before. Yes. Chai. He actually had appetite since I started giving him multi bites. I like mm. that one. Hey, I like him. See how Tipiki is fine. Ah, see it's sweet me for body. Chai. Hey, Oga. As I've been telling you before, eh? you see this strike. Mm. And because with this strike like this, eh, that eh, adoption, this I don't feel run out. Mm. No, no, we don't feel run out again. See, strike finish. Mm. Don't no worry yourself. Don't worry yourself at all. Then me, I know the same way be my own. Mm? And you always know. Mm? Mm. Yeah, just do all you can, okay? Ah, don't worry yourself. I could, I could, I could do something. Yeah. I want to go. All right, let's go. Ah. Oh, sorry. Um, please, someone. Ah, God, this one looks too much. Ah, hey, go, go, bless you. Try. Eh? Yeah. Ah, thank you. See, eh? For this matter, like this, this, this baby matter. Come over to you. I go run now for you. Me, mm. in my full chest. Don't worry. Thank Don't you. worry. I go run now. Where, where? Hi. Um, madam, I was actually wondering <laughs> if I'm taking for immunization. Huh? Don't carry and go with you. No bother yourself at all, eh? No bother. Me, I go carry my two legs. Come here. Come run now for you. Okay. You don't hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ah, Oga, God oh, bless you. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Ah! Babes, babes, I'm tired, eh? please. Babes, please now. Let me just rest a bit, please. Sleep. Babes, please, let me sleep a bit, okay? Please. Sleep, eh? She taught you. Yes, she did. Is there anything else she hasn't taught you since she came? Oh, come on now. Look, I made it for you. I, I made it for you. But you said you liked it before, you know. Come on now, come on, eat. Still awake. Where have you been? The visitor's room. 
I gave the baby a bath, fed him, and then he slept. Yeah. I want you to fire Ada. What? Why? What did she do? Don't you see? Babe, we are growing apart in our own home. We're slowly becoming strangers. This is not how we were. We used to be so sweet together. Now, I don't even know you. You hardly have time for me, babe. I'm dying inside. Basically, I can fire her. She hasn't done anything wrong. I mean, why would I fire her? Are you kidding me? Hmm? Our marriage is falling apart. And you sit here and you tell me it's not enough reading to sack her. No, you listen to me. Is it that she gets out of this house or I leave this house for both of you? Uh, I'm sad to leave, so. Yeah, um, listen, I'm really sorry, huh? Yeah? I will send you some money. And hopefully that should help you for a bit. Okay, I'll just send you some money, okay? Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. One millionaire. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Sir, hey. Bless you, sir. It's okay. Oh it's my god, okay. sir, this is just too much for me. It's all right. You can get up, get up. It's okay. Sir, thank you so it's much. It's okay. And listen, if you need anything, just let me know, okay? <sighs> sir, may God bless it's you. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm really so grateful. Sir, may You're God okay. bless you it's so okay. much. And if you need anything, please don't hesitate to call me, okay? <sighs> sir, may God bless you. I'm, yeah. sir, I'm grateful. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's just too much. It's all right. You take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Bye now. She is a mess. Yes, I admit. I am a mess that makes two of us. Like two peas in a pod We fit perfectly Through our <clears throat> oh. You're back Yeah How come you use so many diapers? He won't stop pooing It's not normal, I mean Are you sure the child is okay? Well, if you could talk, you would have told us if he's okay. You know, maybe we should take him to see the doctor or probably call that welfare woman. Ah, uh, listen, uh, whatever you decide to do, please. I've had a very stressful day and I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but, okay. Hey, little one. You can take him. I think he's happy where he is. So you're traveling this morning with your bags packed and you're only telling us now? See, I got to be like this, eh? Even me. I don't know say I go travel this morning. I don't know. So when are you coming back? Oga, I no go lie you. I don't know. Ah, Oga. See now, Oga cause this thing. Oh, eh? For this house, there's no food to chop. Eh, up on that, they go see they give person eh, eh, clothes to work to wash one person sheet. Oh, Oga, I'm not doing again, no. Listen, Lade. Lade. Madam. You are mad. Say what now? You are mad. So you and your girlfriend brought that illegitimate child to this house. And now you want to run off. You want to abandon your child and your duties. You're a thief. 
Un problème de police. Ah, ah, ah madame, <rire> madame. So, madame, si vous voulez watch comedy, il ne va juste like that now. Et, et, madame, il so, you, you, you need to watch Instagram. So, you, you, know, you need to watch prank. You see, not prank, I need to be with you. You're pranking. Are you, have you lost your, I, don't, don't we pay you enough salary? Calm down, calm down. The audacity. Get, get out of this place. Madame, don't go go again. Get out of this place. Madame, get out of this place. Get out of this place. Tweet. Now this shouting, they make me one pack, self. Can you imagine this issue? First thing we just did, they shout at me. I'm a small picking. I think you're paying too much. I will head. Good morning. Um, welcome to Talk Space, where there is no discrimination of any sort and no judgment at all. Whatsoever you say here remains our deepest secret. So, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, have you been to therapy before? It's our first time. Oh. Then hopefully it will be our last. No, I don't want to be here. You are the one forcing me. When do you listen when I say anything? What thing do you tell me? What stinking thing do you tell me? What thinking point are you talking about? The point that you, the point here is that you are selfish and utterly disrespectful. You don't realize that there are responsibilities attached to that title, wife. What you fail to realize is that you are selfish. You are disrespectful. What use are you? Look at you. Simply because I brought myself down to assist at home. Because I work at home. To help out. We short. Suddenly, that's where the contempt, the syphilis is crept in. Suddenly, so she's now the one who wears the trouser. Or oh, then, then she got a raise at, at work. Started, started, earning, started earning seven figures. Oh, since then, she's standing here as I'm talking to you. I am no longer worthless in my house. She packs up clothes for me to wash. Leaves dishes and everything is office now. She's either in the office or she's in the traffic or she's with her boss. That's all I keep hearing in my marriage. That's all I keep hearing. What am I supposed to do? What kind of marriage is that? And then you come at home at 2 a.m. and then slam onto the bed. Not even asking if your husband needs anything. Not even asking if your husband is hungry. You, you, you don't address yourself to my needs. Look at you. Look at you. You're not even attractive. Look at, look at you, 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 you. You're shapeless. You don't, you, you're not sexy. I told you, since God didn't give you beautiful shape, go and get it from a doctor. No, no argue. I am a man. I need something to hold on to. I need something succulent to hold on to. To suck on. You won't listen. You argue. Eh? I, 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 are you not supposed to be my wife? Eh? Am I a single man? Wife or slave. So, Mel, do you have anything to say? I sure do have something to say. As the old saying goes, who did you face, who did pay? This man here, I go to work, I get back, I fix his food before he's back from work, I wear sexy lingeries for him, I do everything to please this man, I up my sex game, everything. What have I not done to make my marriage work? Everything about me is disgusting. If it's not my figure, if it's not the food I made, if it's not my... He always complains about everything. If I ask him for common money to buy little things, he doesn't have money for me. I am so broke, I should go fix my bills myself. Yeah, you know what I did? I took his advice. No problem. You know what I did? I didn't just end the promotion that gave me the seven figures like he said. I didn't gain it like that. I worked hard for it. You know how hard I worked for it? I worked so hard by spreading my legs for my boss. He was banging me so good. He is so good because he knows my words. He knows, he knows, he loves my perfections and imperfections. He loves everything about me. What he did not value me, he valued everything in me. And you want to tell me about you being, being a man who cares right now? No, your care is too late for me. I don't want it. You know what? This boss has been so good to me that he banged me so hard. So know that I'm no peace. And right now as I'm talking to you, I am not just spreading for my boss. I am pregnant. 
and it's not for you. It's definitely for my boss. Fuck out on me. Gary, I'm talking to you. Are you really just... Gary, listen, there's no way Ada is coming back to this house. If you did bring her into this house, I will, I will just... Oh, what, what? You, 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 what? Eh? I'm sick and tired of living in my own house like a refugee. I have money yet I can't feed. If she's coming back to this house, whether you like it or not, I'll bring her back no matter what. Do what you want to do. She is a mess. Yes, bring her back to this house I and you see what I I am a mess that makes two of us. She doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, she doesn't wash. The wash doesn't take care of the baby. It's like you didn't know I don't do those things before you're mighty. And what baby are you talking about? The one that's illegally ours? We agreed of not having any kids. Well, I changed my mind. I want that baby. Oh, really? Then deal with the responsibilities. Well, you Why don't... do I have to deal with them? I don't want kids. You're not, you're not even taking care of the kid. Someone is taking care of the kid. Why are you complaining? What is... It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. Mr. Gary, please, can you give me a moment with her? Alone. <laughs> He spends all his time with her. I mean, who spends so much time with his staff to the extent that she has taught him how to cook? Are you listening to yourself? Yes. It's, it's absurd, right? Someone does all the chores in the house and still has time to take care of your husband. Doesn't that tell you that you failed in this marriage? What? I have two kids. I've never sorted a help of a maid. You better get yourself up and make your marriage work. Because if you divorce this man, who makes you think you can last a week with any other man? So you want a divorce too? She's the one asking for it. I see no reason why I shouldn't give it to her. You still love her? Of course I still love my wife. I never stop loving her. You know, women are like babies. Who express emotions by either crying or smiling. I think she's just jealous. Jealous of what? She doesn't have to be sure before being jealous. Let me just say this to you, Mr. Gary. Being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you have chosen to look beyond imperfections. Well, I'm really confused. I don't know if this marriage was a mistake. Bro, I have to tell you this. No marriage is a bed of roses. I wanted to also know that love is not all it takes to sustain a marriage. Remember when I used to come to your neighborhood every Saturday? Remember? Yeah, sure I do. Okay, would it be interesting to know why I was coming there always? I was coming for a cooking lesson. Yes. My wife was a horrible cook. When I got tired of eating horrible meals, what did I do? I had to create time out of my very busy schedule to come and learn how to cook. And it, it worked. You see, my marriage is not perfect. It was never perfect. We had issues. I was abusing my wife. And now she is pregnant for her boss. Yes. <laughs> Listen, all I'm trying to let you know is that you can, it is never too late to rebuild your marriage. You're not serious. 
I know it sounds that way, but it's the truth. You can partner with your wife on domestic shores. What does it take? Accept her imperfections. Support her through her weaknesses without necessarily rubbing it on her face. And you guys are shocked at how strong the both of you will grow together in love. There is no, there's no mirror, there's no magic to it. Oh, Juju. Honestly, I'm begging you, do not make the mistake I made. Don't. You will regret it. She is a mess, yes, I admit, I am a mess, that makes two of us, like two peas in a pot, we feed perfectly, through all the imperfections, best believe. I'll be right here Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand All that I know is I'm in love with you And you are right for me Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand why all that I know, I'm in love with you, and you are right for me. See, you were perfect, perfect for me. I see through your imperfections, uh, you are right for me, baby. Oh, 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 yes, you are right for me. She is a mess, yes, I admit, I am a mess, that makes two of us, like two peas in a pot, we feed perfectly. Hey. Hey, um, I made us lunch. Babe, hold on. Come on. I'm sorry. Sorry for everything I made you go through. Or I'm sorry too. I'm sorry for allowing a stranger to come between us. Nobody's anybody's fool. Nobody is anybody's fool. And I love the perfect imperfection. Now, how about you come and try my new concussion? There you go. This is actually a special recipe that mm -hmm. I actually mixed up. Everything. Like two peas in a pot, we feed perfectly through all the imperfections. Best believe I'll be right here. Nobody knows all I love about you. Nobody would understand All that I know is I'm in love with you And you are right 
for me Nobody knows all I love about you Nobody would understand why All that I know I'm in love with you And you write for me See you a bird for